On today's video, Matt joins us, and we're going to install my Renai heater. This is the Old Guy Network. Yep. Welcome back to the Old Guy Network. I'm the Old Guy, the OG, Jay. And, uh, well, you can tell by my attire that uh, it's it's cold here in the shed. <laughs> Fall has indeed fallen upon us, and uh, I have no heat in the shed yet. But I do have heat in my trailer. As you can see from the uh, title of this video, uh, I've got my Renai heater, and I'm going to show you how Matt installed it in just a minute. First, I'd like to take just a minute, just to uh, just a moment, right, really, to thank everyone who uh, subscribed to the channel and helped me reach my 1,000 subscriber goal. I'm over a thousand subscribers now, so thank you very much. And I have uh, put in for the uh, partners program with YouTube, so that my uh, videos will get monetized. I have been accepted, and so far in the past few days, I have raised almost six dollars yeah six dollars <laughs> that'll buy a few cups of coffee right but if you uh, want to help me out and uh, buy me a cup of coffee right now while I wait for the money to roll in on YouTube uh, you can just go to my coffee page there is a link in the description a couple of dollars buys me a cup of coffee helps support the channel and I really do appreciate it so Originally, I was going to do not only the installation video, but an unboxing as well, but I didn't buy a brand new heater. Um, they are really expensive. They, they, they're they worth it. Trust me, they are worth it, but they're kind of pricey, and I was fortunate enough to find a used one through Matt uh, for a really good price, and uh, he installed it for me, and uh, well, we don't have an unboxing because, well, there's no box. I guess the unboxing that we have is me opening up the door for Matt as he carries in the heater. So let's see what that looks like now. We're just waiting for Matt to show up and this is where we're going to put it right here. It's going to go right into that little corner and uh, I think that's a, the best spot for it. And Matt's going to show us how to install it. He's going to show us how it works. And please don't judge me on the mess that I made because I basically just took everything I had in that corner and shoved it over here. I even put my, uh, my desk is now in the kitchen. <laughs> so yeah, that's what we're going to do. We're waiting for Matt. He should be here any minute now. And we'll get started on the install of my new Renai heater. All right, we're going to try to do this. Matt's on his way in. Holy crap, you can't get it. I'm coming, Matt! <laughs> <laughs> How heavy is it? <laughs> Matt, how heavy is it? <laughs> Matt, how heavy is it? <laughs> Matt, how heavy is it? <laughs> All right, as you can hear, Baxter is very excited. <laughs> oh, Baxter. 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 <laughs> All right, he's going to give us a little break now. Matt is here. There's Matt. And if he looks familiar to you, Matt was actually on the channel last year because he won a Sawzall, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah, so you kind of owed me. <laughs> <laughs> but Matt won the Sawzall last year, and you've been using it all the time? All the time. Cutting stuff all the time. And you are indeed an HVAC guy. Yeah. So you know what you're doing. Sometimes. That's the rumor. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's not my first rodeo. You're not going to blow up the, uh, the trailer? No. Uh, pretty straightforward. It's wall furnace. <laughs> <laughs> turn it on, turn it up to it, what you want it to be set at. And it has a thermostat, obviously. And it's got a thermostat. Well, it's got a room temperature sensor. The thermostat just is right here. Okay. Yeah. And this and this is a circulating heater. I mean, it's. Yep. It's got a big fan on it. And... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Matt is a man of few words. Yeah. <laughs> There's not a whole lot to say about these things. But you're going you're to show us how to install this safely, um, correct? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you. <s> <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure, why yeah. not? Um, yeah, I was going through, because we got this, I don't know if you told everybody, you probably got this. Because kind of it's got a second hand ish version. Yes, that was only used for a few months. A guy on calls calling them, I think. Yeah, it was only used for a few months, you said, because the guy had a... Actually, he had too small of a regulator on it. That was the whole problem. Yeah, and it was light and weird. Um, he was using just a grill regulator, so we got... When I hooked it up at the shop, it was fine. But okay. he just was like, ah, I'm just going to get something else. Yeah. 
right. Oh, good for him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. good for me. Great for, you. Great for me because yeah. these things were expensive. I mean, they, they are yeah, expensive. This thing that... And I'm getting it for a very, I'm not going to say what the price is. Okay. Because I've already mentioned where you work and I don't want everybody storming the place looking for a, <laughs> yeah. a deal. Yeah, they won't get the same deal as you. But I got a deal because, uh, well, because I'm me. <laughs> And, and you're Matt, so. Yeah, exactly. Uh, exactly. No, I'm really excited because I haven't had any heat in here in about, th what, three weeks? So. It's been a few weeks, yeah. Yeah. We had a nice cracked furnace. Yeah, that yeah. thing was terrible. Yeah, I wasn't going to let you run that one. But, no. Yeah, so, yeah, I got to grab some stuff. Now, Matt has collected all his tools and we're getting ready to go. If you hear some whining, that's not Matt. That's Baxter <laughs> down here. He's really upset he can't be out here. Baxter, go lie down for a while. Okay. okay. All right, so this is the exhaust um, piece. It's also a fresh air intake, right? So you've got the exhaust will come out the center and then it pulls in, pulls in fresh air around here. Oh, okay. Right? So what you do is, normally with these things, you've got a template, but you don't know. They're usually in the box, there's a, on the back, there's like a template that you mm -hmm. put up. I don't think it's going to be anyway, but just because it's easy enough. So in back here, you want to come over here, I guess. Right? So you've got this exhaust piece, okay? Yep. That goes into, that's the pool outlet. So that'll be like this. So basically what I do when I don't have a template, or when I do, you know, still have a template. <laughs> I, uh, I just gotta go, all right. So we're looking at our exhaust being, let's see. I wanna hug the wall as much as we can. All right. Without being too crazy. And remember there's a... Uh, there's a spigot somewhere. There's there. a connection right there too. There's a... I can't imagine the wires are there. But if they are, we'll find out. Um, so no, what I, just, I do is I, I mean, go... Now, how close up. is that going to get to the wall? Well, because you'll be able to access this. Okay. You'll be able to access it. Because All right. All it's basically... So when you put these things on, you give, give yourself a flex. Oh, okay. So you can pull it off. Okay. Um, so you'll be fine with that. So... You put that on. Yeah, blame it on me. <laughs> I, I took his tools and I, and I put them somewhere where we can't find them. So yeah, basically you're looking at right about there. You look right about there, and you got plenty of room to play with, so you don't have to be crazy accurate. And then you go. And then we go see where we wound up outside. So basically, um, you put a feeler bit through so that way you can drill a hole saw yep. from outside and then you come out, or you, out from inside out and then outside in. Okay. So that's what we're gonna do next. This guy keeps calling me. I just gotta talk so you to have him real to, quick. Gonna, okay. We got a no heat emergency, all right? <laughs> So basically when you're doing these holes, you kind of want to make sure they're going downhill a little bit because condensation okay. can come back and ruin the heat exchanger if you don't have it pitched downward a little bit. And we don't want to do that. That's what happened to my furnace, right? <laughs> exactly. Well, let's hope I don't <laughs> rip my hand off. So with vinyl, you kind of want to go backwards first, so you don't just tear, you know, tear all the shreds. I appreciate that. So this guy's inside. Then you feed that guy. What's insulation? 
Very well insulated trailer. Yeah, not too bad. <laughs> I know it holds a cold in pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're not running uphill anymore. Good. So these guys go in. There's two little clamp things. Well, they're like uh, just little stubs to these springs. Mm -hmm. That's the tension. Yep. That pulls this on there. These screws don't really need to bite, they just need to kind of help reinforce what's going on. Usually, I have it like face like this, because that side goes in. Yep. How that goes in like that. So. Most of the time, I take it off. Yeah. All right. All right. So that is a long ass drill bit. Yeah. Well, we need it. We need to see where we're going. So, the tank's going to be over there somewhere. Next to your porch, I believe. Mm -hmm. Wherever they put it. Gas is here, we'll do. That's the one cool part about the wall is that it falls apart nice and easy. <laughs> Oh, that's good to know. <laughs> oh, we found the stud. <laughs> maybe some, maybe someday I can get all liquored up and crash through the wall like the Kool-Aid yeah. man. <laughs> all right, I'll be right there. I'm just gonna drill right through. Holy shit! All right, now, uh, now you're taking apart the heater. I see. Yeah, well, I gotta be able to see what I'm doing. So, Let's see. so yeah, this guy. We'll slide right in to that. All right. So, in theory. In theory. <laughs> what do you think, Baxter? All right. So, obviously the gas is not there yet. Right. But that's fine. So that's how this goes. So you're just basically test fitting this to see what's going to To line see up. how it's going to, yeah, exactly. I can see that. Well, and you can access it better with your arm, too. Yeah, exactly. And <laughs> she's in. All right. So this is where it's going to sit. That's how it's going to look. Okay. All right, what seemed to be an eternity later, we're back inside uh, after the guy has, has uh, put the tanks in. And uh, I didn't put him on camera because well, that guy was ugly. <laughs> <laughs> he and, wasn't much of a looker. And not very bright, so <laughs> he didn't deserve to be on camera. So Matt's going to finish up here with what we got to do. And here the tanks are all placed out back, or the tank, I should say. So now you're just hooking up the line? Yep. I'm just gonna hook it up and then we'll place it back where it was. Plug it into uh, oh, right there. Yeah, right there. Yep. And before you know it. I'll have some heat in here. Yeah. God I hope so. Is that electric? Yeah, I that's a little electric fireplace and I have been using it, but I've been using it sparingly because it's very expensive to run. <laughs> It works well, don't get me wrong. I mean, it, it heats up this room pretty good, but not the whole trailer. That's, yeah, that's Baxter. <laughs> He's, uh, hi Baxter. You, you okay, buddy? <laughs> He's watching you intently, though. He, he really likes to, to watch you work. He's calmed down considerably. He has.
beautiful. Well, you do look like you know what you're doing. <sighs> yeah. You've been doing this now for how many years? Five. Five years. Okay, another time. Well, enough time to have done millions of freaking players. When I first met you, you were flipping pizzas. Right. And, and then you told me you were going to go to school for this, and you did, and Here you, you actually did exactly what you planned out. So that's pretty damn good. Sometimes, sometimes I can do some things. <laughs> So, get this guy on here. And then we got our little flex boy. I like to put a little dab. I do it on the face of these just for extra. Just for good measure. Extra insurance. You gotta be careful when you're doing it because this is the exact type of thing that you don't want to clog up an orifice. Oh no, we don't want any clogged orifices. No. I think I had that once with the doctor gave me some pills. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Now again, Matt is a professional. You probably should not do this yourself unless you are an HVAC guy and know what you're doing. Yeah, I wouldn't... Uh... I wouldn't do it. But at least now you know what he's going to do. Don't take food out of my kid's mouth. No. And right now Matt is just checking for any signs of a leak, which is very important. Yep. He's uh, putting soap uh, solution on there to uh, see if there's any bubbles. If there is, well then he has to start all over. <laughs> no, he just has to tighten it up or, or reflare it, whatever the hell they have to do. So far so good? So far so good. Uh, excellent. Now, after somebody gets this done, too, should I get O2 sensors for the house? Um, Not a bad idea? It's never a bad idea. Okay. Never a bad idea at all. They do make um, wall heaters like this that are ventless. And you were going to go with one of those. And I was, but... We talked you out of it a little bit. Well, I really didn't want to. And then we had this option. I, I really didn't want to do it because uh, ventless just scares the hell out of me. Yeah, my company, the company I work for, they won't, they won't even work on them, so. It's one of those things. They just, and they smell awful. Oh, yeah, they do. Now, the one I have in the in the uh, shed, that is a ventless heater, but that's that's in the shed, and I can open up a window, crack a window a little bit. Yeah, exactly. And it works fine. There's no real reason to... Baxter's coming over to help. Baxter. Alright. Good boy. Alright. I'm just kind of shining it in there a little bit. This is the main part that I hate because you get it all up here. Your hands can't fit back here. There we go. My dog keeps kicking the tripod. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
I hear something. Boy, it doesn't make much noise, does it? No, they're quiet. That's very quiet. Unlike Baxter. Come here, Bax. Come on. Baxter. Come on, buddy. Come on, we love him. We love him. Oh, God yeah. love ya. Well, Matt's just wrapping things up here. I can, he I can hear the fan going there. And Matt, thank you so much for coming back by and let me shoot a video. And, yeah, no problem. And, uh, Happy to do it. Glad to have heat. Yeah. Glad, glad you have heat because I'm the one who condemned your practice. <laughs> well, that's true. You did, didn't you? Yeah. Ah, oh, you rat bastard. <laughs> oh, you can thank me every day that you're still alive. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. And now I have heat in my trailer. And thank you so much to Matt and the good folks at Osborne's Plumbing and Heating. Uh, I really appreciate it. They gave me a good deal on the heater. And uh, Matt did all that for out of the kindness of his heart. And uh, that's really really appreciated so thank you so much for that and uh it was a pretty good install i mean it was pretty straightforward but again matt is a professional um he knows what he's doing he's he went to school for this after all and he's been doing it for at least five years if you're gonna get one of these heaters please don't do it yourself if you don't know anything about installing a heater yeah you can see that it's not the hardest job in the world but these guys are safety conscious they know what they're doing consult with them get them to do it but at least now you know what they're going to do so you can watch them and make sure they're doing it right right because <laughs> you know that's that's the fun part so that's going to do it for this video thank you so much for watching if you got anything out of it at all please hit that like button hit that share button subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yet and i will see you back here in the trailer hood next time for the old guy network i am the old guy i'm the og and i'm out <laughs>